What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here, and in this video, we are going to be looking at the new Warlock Exotic Gauntlets, Briar Binds. This exotic has the perk 1 with the Void. Your Void Souls have a longer duration. They also gain escalating damage and durability as they defeat targets. You can retrieve your Void Souls by interacting with them. Now, back in Forsaken, Warlocks were blessed with the Exotic Gauntlet's Controverse Hold, and they have pretty much remained at the top of the Voidwalker meta ever since. Skull of Dyra Habankaro is decent in Season of the Drifter, and people have tried to make Nezirak Sin, Verity's Brow, or Nothing Manacles work, but for the most part, if you want to run Voidwalker, you're going to be running Controverse Hold. Hell, they've been my personal favorite Warlock exotic ever since Shadowkeep when we got Oppressive Darkness. But today, we may honestly have a challenger to the throne. I'm not even joking, just look at the background footage of the work that the Void Soul is putting in. It is honestly absurd. So let's break down everything you need to know about this exotic and discuss its use cases for future PvE content. So before we break it down, I just have to mention that we obviously want to be running the Aspect Child of the Old Gods because that is how we get our Void Soul. The perk description is on screen if you don't know what it does, but the Destiny Data Compendium gives a bit more detailed info on this description. So you have 25 seconds to send out your Void Soul by shooting a target. It creates a 10 meter draining field in all directions and deals damage every 3 quarters of a second. They state that it lasts 13 seconds and will weaken for 5 seconds. If you are running Healing Rift, it will refund 3.5% of your grenade energy every 1.4 seconds. If you run Empowering Rift, you will get 25 health every 1.4 seconds. I tested this in my editing software and I got 1.3 to 1.4 seconds for both, but not 1.1. And then it says grants class ability energy on the enemy rank when a drained enemy dies. So the higher rank the target, the more rift energy you receive. Now that we know what the Void Soul does, let's look at how the exotic can improve it. So the first part of the exotic states your Void Souls have a longer duration. So let's look at that. Without the exotic on, a Void Soul lasts for 14 seconds. To test this, I went from the frame that Shirochi changed color to purple, and then to the frame that she reverted back to normal. So, then with the exotic on, the Void Soul appears to last for 18.5 seconds, or 4.5 seconds longer than regular Void Soul. I'm adding this in post script because I realize my numbers don't really make sense here. These numbers are how long the effect of the Weaken lasts from a Void Soul. Shiro Chi glows purple while weakened. So the 14 second and 18.5 seconds are how long the effects of the Void Soul last. This distinction is important because you do not have that long to collect your Void Soul. The Void Soul itself at base lasts for 10 seconds, and with the exotic equipped, the Void Soul itself lasts for 15 seconds. So 50% longer. Again, this is how long the Void Soul exists, which allows you to pick it up. The numbers stated before are how long the weaken effects last. I hope that makes sense. The next part states it gains damage and durability as the Void Soul defeats targets. We won't test the damage resistance because it is hard to get enemies to shoot a Void Soul, but instead we will look at the damage increase. So, a regular Void Soul deals 676 damage to these enemies. But when we put on the gloves, the base Void Soul deals 788 damage, a 16.6% .6 increase from base. After about 5 kills, it goes to 1014, a 50% increase from base. Then, just after one more kill, it jumps to 1126 damage, which is a 66.6% .6 increase. The next kill after that is 1239, an 83.3% damage increase and then 1351, a 100% increase. So double the damage of a regular Void Soul without the exotic. So if your Void Soul can get eight kills, it will deal double damage. And what is especially cool about that is if you pick up the Void Soul, it will stay doing that enhanced damage. But if you have to cast a new one, it will do the lower damage. The last part of the perk just talks about how you can pick up your souls by interacting with them. Doing this completely refreshes the Void Soul timer. When you pick it up, you have another 25 seconds to deploy it, and it will again last for a full 18 and a half seconds once deployed. You can see in the background footage, I just deployed my Void Soul over and over on the Hydra boss. So after it got its 8 kills, it was dealing double damage as well as providing a constant 15% weaken to the boss. It is honestly crazy how good this exotic is in the Nord Avalon mission. You can set it up at doorways to immediately attack enemies when they spawn in, and I didn't even get to the best part yet. These Void Souls can be enhanced further with a couple of fragments, so let's go through the build that I would run if I was going to use this exotic. Child of the Old Gods and Feed the Void for Devour are our aspects. Echo of Harvest, where defeating weakened targets creates an orb and a void breach. Everything will be getting weakened by your Void Soul, and the void breaches will feed into your class ability. Echo of Expulsion, where void ability final blows cause targets to explode. This works with kills from Void Soul, allowing you to deal even more damage. 
and kills from Void Soul will also proc Devour. So with Devour active, every time you get a kill you will fully heal yourself, and then you will get grenade energy back from both Devour and Child of the Old Gods. Then the next fragments are optional. Echo of Instability for volatile rounds on grenade kills is nice if you're rocking Void weapons. Echo of Starvation to give you Devour when you pick up a Void Breach or an Orb. This one's not really mandatory but it can come in handy. Ideally though you can just proc Devour with a grenade kill and then just keep slaying out to keep the timer up. Echo of Undermining where your Void Grenades weaken targets. I pretty much always run this fragment on Void, but with how often you have a Void Soul up, this may not really be needed because the Void Soul will weaken all the targets anyways. Echo of Remnants to make your lingering grenades last longer, depending on what grenade you're using. And finally, you could go with Echo of Persistence to make your Devour last longer. So again, the two mandatory ones in my opinion are Echo of Harvest for making orbs and void breaches for killing weakened targets, which you'll do a lot of, and Echo of Expulsion where void ability final blows cause targets to explode. Your Void Soul already does double damage, and this will make it deal even more damage. I took this into a Legend Lost Sector and ran all Void stuff and Void wasn't even the burn and I still got through it fairly easily. The Void Souls were great at locking down the spawn points. I definitely think this exotic could have some play in Grandmasters with high add density. You want to run max resilience and max recovery if possible. In lower end content, you don't need the high recovery because you can simply pick up Void Breaches and let your Void Souls kill enemies for you to get your Rift energy back. And then you can keep collecting your Void Soul to deploy onto other targets. But in higher end content, staying in cover is crucial, so you may not be able to run out in the open to grab Void Breaches or pick up your Void Soul. One more thing I wanted to mention is that you can litter the battlefield with Void Souls. This is easier in lower end content as you can often be in the fray if you are running out collecting your souls, but in Shiro Chi, I was able to deploy 3 Void Souls at once. The tricky part is juggling them all before they go away after 18 seconds, and then redeploying them on enemies. You need very dense encounters to get more than like 3 up at a time. Another thing to note is it does not appear that two Void Souls will simultaneously damage a target. Maybe two will if two different players deploy the soul, but I stuck two souls to Carl and it seemed like I was only getting one set of damage numbers. So just something to be aware of. But as I mentioned, having multiple souls go out is great for locking down doorways and enemy spawn points. Anyways, that is it for the video. I hope you found it helpful and if you did, then a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Happy Void Soul spamming and take care.